you guys are here, and you're like, you know, Chicago, wow, what an interesting anthropological experiment. <laughs> no, but I want you to understand this. These investments in kids, Isaiah Thomas and I did 12 basketball courts Friday and Saturday night from 8 to 10, 10 or 7 to 10. You get a, not only a basketball court, you get a coach, you get a scorekeeper, you get a uniform. We thought 800 kids. I'm going to tell you the story. 2,500 showed up. I don't have enough money. I mean, if I opened up 43 of them, I couldn't supply all the kids that want to come. I went to the first one opening on Columbus Park on the west side near Austin, Garfield area. So I sat down with this kid who'd just gotten off the court sweating, Martell. I started talking to him, and I was going to walk around and talk to all the kids. Well, he was so engaging, I just could not get up. And I, well, he just came Friday night. Lives upstairs in a three-bit flat with his mom. And I couldn't get up, and I said, finally, I said, because he was just so engaged, and so I said, get me a card. I wrote his mother. I said, Mom, one parent to another. You done well. I'm just telling you, I know how hard it is. I got a teenager at home, three of them. You really done well. So I, gave, I finally got up. I'm walking around, said hello. I'm walking out. He uh, is walking out. I said, where are you going? He says, I'm going home. I said, come on in the car. I'll give you a ride. We're on the west side of Chicago. Now, he'd come to play basketball. He's got two Tahoes, four cops, and the mayor in the car with him. <laughs> <laughs> and he's at a charter school. It's all African-American male. There's three of them in the city. We get to his house. I'm about to get out because I'm going to walk him to the door. He puts his hand on my hand. He goes, Mr. Mayor. I go, yeah, Martell. He goes, may you have a blessed evening. I got four cops and two Tahoes, and he's telling me to have a blessed evening. These are good kids. Invest in them. Give them a shot. Somebody that cares about them, and they're going to be fine in life, and that's what's missing. We're not a good, government's not a good replacement to a parent, but as long as there's breakdown in the family, we have to step up and do our replacement investments that give these kids the equal shot that your children and my children are having. And if we do it, we're going to be really successful.